What's up, nerds? Back with another video. This one's going to be a weird one. So, welcome to dating in 2024. And Hannah, if you managed to actually watch this, you're not a catfish. What's up, girl? So, what I have done is because online dating, I mean, I see people around at the gym. I see people up on the mountain. I've had good conversations with a lot of people, but I've never had that like you know oh, let's go out and do stuff moment with anybody yet so i'm still trying around on online dating you know seeing what's going on going on a couple dates right and then i find this uh girl's profile again hannah if you're watching hi hello hi, this is my youtube channel right so it's not just for you it's for me you know hey so <laughs> basically she had this boyfriend application thing on her hinge profile right and i was like you know what fuck it Let's fucking make one. Why not, right? Fuck it. And I got a YouTube channel, so I'm going to fucking upload it. I mean, like, what am I going to do? Send her this link to a YouTube video? And then, like, I mean, if she dates me, Hannah, if you date me, I do a lot of YouTube shit. So, I mean, hey, here's part of it. So, without further ado, why Hannah should date me, Luke, or go on a date, date me, whatever. A presentation by Luke. Now, because you know... In two years, I'm going to ask to marry you. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what I want. I love my life and I want to share it with you. I'm not trying. I'm not a broken person looking for a girl to fix me. And I'm just, you know, at, I'm older than you. So, I mean, hey, whenever you're ready to take the next steps, I'm fucking down. That's like part of the reason why I like dating younger because girls' biological clock so much different than guys. Guys just, I mean, it's kind of, a, you know, a, I mean, we kind of just were built to last, you know, like we're fucking old old men like we're our balls don't shrink up until we're fucking 80 i mean look at fucking al pacino or whatever having kids when he's 84 i mean come on and on a side note i mean just look at how fucking cute our babies are gonna be look how cute these fucking babies are look how cute these babies are this is my, my the picture i use for us anyway so did you make it past that slide <laughs> i mean hey if you stopped i get it but seriously, though, enough memes aside, jokes about, you know, marriage and all that stuff aside, right? Really? Wh why? What's the deal? So I'm super Andy. Look at all the stuff I build. I built all the stuff around my house. Uh, I didn't include a million pictures, right? But for me, owning things is important. Knowing how to own and repair your stuff that you own, that is important to me. And so that's why I make sure to keep myself, you know, some level of handiness, right? What else? I love animals. Look at my kitty baby. Look at my kitty baby. Look at my look at my bunny baby. Oh, look at my bunny baby and my kitty baby. And so people have a lot of problems with me, right? You know, human beings, I mean, you know, people, right? But one of the things I like about animals is that they know deep down in their heart of hearts, their animal hearts, their pure animal, can't speak English, no human hearts, just understanding people's vibes, trying to judge people based on like their smell, like all this stuff that we as people can't see, animals love me, right? And I, I'm not gonna say every animal, but the amount of animals that I've met, there have been very few that didn't like me. And I really take pride in that because for me, that shows that deep down, in the core of who I am, these animals know that I am a lover, not a fighter. They know that I'm someone who just loves petting, loves being around them, loves all that stuff. And so that's just something that I, I like. You know, anybody that's not good with animals is a little bit of a red flag for me. I love cooking fresh, nutritional food. So something that on your profile, you're very nutritional, very healthy, very uh, wellness, health is wealth, you know, very, uh, that's an important part of your lifestyle. It's a po very important part of my lifestyle as well. And so I got my MBA in healthcare administration in 2017. And ever since that I've done that, that's been a big shift in my life, focusing on illness care and reactive wealth, uh, health care to wellness care, preventative care, things like that. And that you know, it takes place that stretches into all parts of my life. And in this case, cooking, because I love cooking and I never like to cook anything that's more than, you know, one, two, three steps away. You know, I don't, I, the only processed food that I've had recently was I had, I bought some processed like chicken and like frozen chicken in bags and like uh, uh, chicken, uh, like they're like uh, cordon bleu like things. I got that because I, I needed something that I could just like quick protein eat, throw in the microwave. But aside from that, everything else, all fresh, baby. 
And combine that at the very end, combine all of this with daily exercise. And I mean, we're talking about a fucking power couple like nothing else, baby. So what else, though? I love to travel and spend time outdoors. And you can come and enjoy all this stuff with me. It's like just because I, you know, I, something that like drives me nuts is people are like, oh, well, you don't want to leave anywhere. You're just going to sit here. You want to raise a family. You don't want to do anything. No, I want to travel like crazy. I want to bring the kids with me. I like this is not it's part of my life. It's part of what I love doing. And again, part of the YouTube channel. I make travel vlogs. I make all of this stuff whenever I go do it. So it's like, oh, well, you're not going to blah, blah, blah. You got stuff. It's like, no, sign me up because I'll just make a YouTube video out of it. I'll just stream it when I can, you know? And so that's kind of, uh, you know, what I have in this. Spending time with friends and family is just as important, if not more important, than work to me. And I want kids, but that doesn't mean I don't want to travel with you, make experiences, do all of this. And then we could see about kids because, again... You are younger than me, so we don't have to worry as much about the biological clock. We have plenty of time to enjoy, spend our money, build experiences, and then we could go doing all that to the rest of the stuff. And again, I'm German and Puerto Rican, so it's just in my blood. I can't help it. I love spending time on the mountain. I love spending time on the beach. It's all good. But wait, there's more. I also, bonus DLC content available We've got the festival package. We've got the road trip package. Look at the car all sexy. We got the foreign travel package. We got the motorcycle package. Sheesh, you know, and this is all free DLC available for download whenever. Oh, my God. But that's that. I'm not going to put my cell phone number on the uh, on my YouTube video, but I'll send you the link for all of this and my cell phone numbers in there and everything. But... I mean, that's it. So welcome to dating in 2024, everybody, where we've got to send out YouTube videos, send out PowerPoints to chicks to maybe give them a ch they'll give me a chance. But and I know and I know you're going to watch this. And you're gonna, now, if you made it to this point, you're like, oh, this guy's a fucking simp. This guy's a beta cuck. He's got to, you know, g beg women online for a chance to even go out with a date with him. Look how pathetic. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I see that. As a perspective, believe me, I see that as a perspective. And, you know, it's not like that's lost on me. Again, however, remember the context of this is that it's not like I'm not still outside all the time talking with all these people, having them with these conversations. And I have tracked my daily screen usage. And over the course of a week, on average, for the last, like, two weeks, right, I've spent two hours a week on dating apps. Now think to yourself, seven days a week, 24 hours, and I'm spending a combined two hours on dating apps. And yeah, I'm making this video. This is a less than 10 minute video. It took me maybe 15 minutes to bring up all the pictures and make this PowerPoint. I mean, for anybody out there that, you know, if you're, again, if you're spending all day long on apps and you're, after seven days, you've got 60 hours on dating apps and stuff, like, you know, then, then, then come at me with something else, right? However, right now, in my situation doing this, this is all just fun. Hannah, I hope you, uh, if you made it to this point, Hannah, if you're still watching, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. To all the subscribers, I hope, you know, this gives you a little bit of a, you know, I don't know if you're dating out there. I don't know what you're looking for. I know a lot of my friends that watch this, like personal life friends are all married at this point. But yeah, Dana Good 2024, submitting a PowerPoint YouTube video <laughs> via email to someone. <laughs> oh my God, what a time to be alive. Anyway, smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other. Deuces.